These images are all too familiar in South Africa's informal settlements. 25 million people in South Africa eat food prepared on paraffin stoves, and every year, almost 200,000 are injured or lose their property due to fires, mostly caused by the paraffin. And as many as 80,000 people die from paraffin-related deaths every year. This is according to a report published by the Paraffin Safety Association of Southern Africa. A very high number of lethal fires in poorer communities can be attributed to defective and low-quality paraffin stoves. Between 2001 and 2010, over 68,000 shacks were destroyed and more than 237,000 people were displaced by shack fires. Besides injuries from burns related to the use of paraffin stoves, there is the danger of paraffin ingestion when the clear liquid is mistaken for water and swallowed from unmarked bottles. Many children develop chemical pneumonia from drinking paraffin by mistake. 3.4 million households currently do not have access to electricity across South Africa, relying heavily on paraffin, candles and fire to cook, light and warm their households. This is all because they have had no alternatives. Extended exposure to smoke from traditional cooking practices is one of the world's biggest health concerns. The smoke penetrates deep into the lungs, causing a range of chronic and acute health effects. Living in such smoky conditions is also responsible for the high prevalence of cataracts. This problem is prevalent in large parts of the developing world, especially Africa. Nearly three billion people each day around the world cook on open fires or simple cook stoves that are fueled by coal or solid biomass, such as wood and charcoal, creating a serious negative impact on the environment. Burning of all this wood and charcoal pollutes the air with toxic smoke emissions. Using wood and charcoal means that many trees are cut down and forests are disappearing quickly. This issue has attracted attention from international personalities such as Hillary Clinton and Julia Roberts. They have formed the Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves with the aim of deploying 200 million clean cook stoves in developing countries by 2020. The World Health Organization, United Nations Foundation and top petroleum companies are also involved in the alliance. They are all seeking an alternative. And now finally, there is one. A solution to this terrible loss of life and destruction of homes is the Protostar Clean Cook Stove, a safe, easy to use alternative to paraffin cookers. Here is a full demonstration of how it compares with a typical paraffin cooker. You need a wick, a box of matches, a funnel, and your paraffin. First, you need to move the lever, remove the cap, and add the funnel. Fill the stove through the funnel, avoiding spilling the paraffin, and then the cap has to be tightly closed again. The lever then needs to be put back in place so that the holding key can be turned. You then wet the wick with paraffin so that it can be lit. It's safer to get someone to help you light the wick. Dineo, can you please come and help? You can light it. You dip the burning wick into the paraffin stove in order to light it, and then you have to extinguish the burning wick. You then turn the holding key to reduce the flame. And then when you cook, you take a pot and then you put it on top. Make sure your pot is stable so that it doesn't fall off. And this is how you switch it off. Make sure the flame is out. In comparison, the Protostar Clean Cook Stove is a lot easier to use. This is the Protostar Clean Cook Stove. It has the cap on, so you're going to remove this cap for you to switch it on. And then you're going to take Protostar Clean Cook Stove fuel the cap is sealed, making it impossible for children to open. Even after the cap has been removed, there is a closed seal in the mouth of the bottle, which gets pierced by a small metal spike where the fuel goes into the fuel tank on the stove. The fuel is available in 500 milliliter bottles only, and the entire contents are poured into the tank, leaving nothing in the bottle that can be consumed by mistake. So you're going to take your match, light like that. So now my stove is on. As you notice, the flame is smaller, smokeless and safer. 
the clean burning methanol is very popular as it saves having to clean the outside of your cooking pots. As you can see, the stove has got the locksmith on, so the, the pot cannot move. It's very safe, it cannot fall off, and then the flame of the stove doesn't get the pot dark. It's not going to be black outside. This new stove is revolutionary in that with a paraffin stove, you can only cook with a pot or pan on top of it. Whereas with a Protostar clean cook stove, you can grill and bake as well. We are about to roast. Now I'm going to take my drip cap and put it on the side. The drip cup collects fat from the roast. The fat collects in the pan and runs down a little tube into the drip cup. A grid is placed on top of the pan, creating a perfect baking, roasting or grilling pan. A braai is one of the more popular uses of the Protostar clean cook stove. In a clean, no-mess manner, vorse, steak or chops can be easily braied. Families that have been using the Protostar clean cook stove find that safety is one of the main attractions. Another meal that most shack dwellers are unable to make is that of a roasted chicken. Then I'm going to take my dome to close the chicken and then you're going to leave your chicken to roast for an hour or so. Okay, this is what my chicken looks like. So let's have lunch. Extinguishing the flame on the Protostar clean cook stove is also a lot easier than on a paraffin stove. Flame can be completely off. The advantage again of these stoves is that one can cook with them, uh, can also grill the meat, and, and one can also bake. That is very much uh, important to our people. I think uh, uh, not only our people, uh, but uh, in the whole of uh, the Republic of South Africa, this will help uh, the poor uh, people that we are having. The big advantage is the cleaner, safer methanol fuel that it uses, as opposed to paraffin. Let's have a look at this difference. This is Protostar clean cook fuel. And this is paraffin. We're going to show you a little bit of demonstration when we pour the two fuels into our pots to show how it's going to burn. The methanol ignites easily and burns with a bluish yellow flame, whereas the paraffin is slower to ignite but then burns with a strong yellow flame. In almost no time, the paraffin flame has grown quite big and begins emitting black smoke and a paraffin smell. You'll notice that this Protostar Clean Cook Stove fuel is cleaner, safer, and no smell and no smoke. Yeah, but since it's in ten quarter and a passing pegging, I'm a kunyaman in Ghana. So in terms of ends and jings, or compare with his saver and his son and his escom. Not all good develops a saver more than his escom. So seven as from today, your seven is a soul. Proto Energy is marketing the Proto Star Clean Cook Stove in various communities in South Africa with great success. They are currently in the process of appointing distributors throughout the country. For more information, go to www.protoenergy.co.za.